Well, News 8 has your back as we gear up for the holiday weekend. The 4th of July, of course, brings many people together to celebrate. And with the partying often comes drinking alcohol. So Connecticut State Police are stepping up patrols to make sure we all stay safe while out on the roads. News 8's Ken Pierce is live along I-91 in Middletown. He has more on that, plus information about an early morning crash in Ellington. Kent? Yeah, and here along the I-91 Middletown rest area, things are already getting kind of busy. I think a lot of people took off today as well as having off tomorrow for the July 4th weekend. There's a big effort this weekend to try to reduce the number of crashes in Connecticut. Here to talk about that and more is Trooper Kelly Grant with the Connecticut State Police. Already had one kind of serious crash this morning in Ellington. Tell us about that. Sure, this early this morning, it's about 1.30 a.m., a motor vehicle struck a, an electrical pole, knocking the pole down along with some electrical wires. Um, one person was transported to the hospital via LifeStar. And the weird thing about that is the driver ran away? It appears that the driver fled the scene, but uh, troopers were able to, to catch up with them and make sure they get medical treatment also. All right, let's talk about the effort to try to reduce crashes this week. And what is Operation CARE? Sure, Operation CARE is Combined Accident Reduction Effort, and it's an effort to reduce the number of motor vehicle accidents this weekend over the 4th of July holiday weekend. All kinds of crashes, but especially you want to cut down on the drunk driving crash. Yes, we definitely want to cut down on drunk driving crashes, drunk driving, period. We'd like to put a stop to that. Okay, so checkpoints, things like that? Yes, troopers are going to be out this weekend. They're going to be in roving patrols, which means they'll just be driving around looking for speeders, people not wearing their seatbelts, suspected drunk drivers. And there'll also be spot checks where vehicles will have to stop, speak with a trooper for a couple seconds so the trooper can determine that they're okay to, to continue driving. If they're not okay, if they get caught driving under the influence, driving, operating while impaired, I guess maybe is the correct term. Uh, first offense now, something happens that only happened to repeat offenders before. This new law went into effect yesterday. Correct. New law went into effect yesterday. It's the ignition interlock device um, that gets installed on your vehicle if you are arrested for drunk driving and have, you end up having your license suspended. Now it's after the first offense of that that this device gets put on your vehicle as opposed to it used to be after your second offense. All right. Thank you, Trooper Grant. So now more than ever, you want to not drive under the influence because it was never a good idea. Now more than ever, stay away from it. Designate a driver as you go out for that partying this weekend. Have a good time, but do it responsibly. We're live along I-91 in Middletown. I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you.